One of the most effective dating tactics when it comes to reigniting attraction with a woman who's slipping away is no contact, which simply means taking a step back and going off her radar for a designated period of time. But yet, as, a, as powerful as this no contact period can be, it's only a short term solution. However, it can lead to a long term solution, but only if you do something that's critical during the period of no contact. Now look, I know that probably sounds like a dramatic teaser, but doing this one thing is what can actually change the trajectory of a relationship between you and a woman. I'm gonna reveal exactly what that thing is and exactly how to do it in this video. All right, so I am Rob Judge, and like I said in the intro, Taking a step back and going no contact often solves so many of the issues that guys run into with women. Often when a guy finally pulls back and he stops reaching out to a woman, one of two things happens. Either she ends up reaching out to him or when a period goes by and he reaches out to her after a few days or even a few weeks, she's usually much more receptive and much more responsive than she was before. But all that does is get your foot in the door. No contact it's just the first step towards a solution. And while yes, it's a very important and often necessary step, if going no contact is all you do, then you're still gonna lose her. No contact, it's not a cure all solution. Most guys, they sort of already know this, right? But here's what they still get wrong. Most guys think that their success or failure, it all depends on what they do after no contact, but it's actually what you do during no contact that largely determines your success or failure. In fact, that brings up this sort of ironic aspect of going no contact. In terms of advice, no contact on the surface, it appears so simple, so straightforward. I mean, you simply do nothing, nothing easier than that, right? But here's the catch. While you're not doing anything directly, you need to be hard at work behind the scenes. But rather than working on her, you need to be working on you. This is the most crucial aspect of no contact, yet it's also the most overlooked. The work you need to do begins with really trying to figure out what caused the issues with the woman in the first place. And then you need to actively take steps to ensure that you fix these problems before contact is reestablished. For example, I see clients all the time and they almost always know what caused a woman to lose attraction and go cold. Often it was because maybe they showed too much interest, they showed too much interest too soon, they acted overly nice, they didn't provide a woman the sort of experience that was attractive or stimulating because they made the mistake of prioritizing predictability and comfort over attractive tension and intrigue. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you can probably think of a time when you were guilty of doing this. Look, it happens to all of us. However, can you answer the question why you did those things? Most guys can't because that's a much more difficult question to answer. Yet it's also the key to unlocking any sort of future that you might have with a woman. So. It's not enough to simply know what caused an issue with a woman. If you don't proactively develop habits and make lifestyle changes that address the problem at its root, then you're just gonna keep making the same mistakes. And even worse, you're not just gonna lose this girl, you're gonna keep losing every girl like her. You can't just say that you're gonna change. You actually have to change. It's such a powerful difference that's so often overlooked. I've coached so many clients and they all say the same thing. They all tell me that they're willing to do whatever it takes. They're willing to make the changes that are gonna reattract an ex or a woman is slipping away. Yet, the ones who actually go out and successfully do it are the guys who actually follow through and actually change. Again, I wanna emphasize that. They don't simply say they're gonna change, they actually change. But you might be asking, what change do I need to make? And look, I'm not gonna sit here and presume I can definitely tell you the answer to that. But I can say I probably know the answer. For most guys, the cause of their unattractive behavior is a lack of purpose. When a man doesn't find fulfillment in things like his ambitions or his career, he often searches for it in women. Now, realizing that, it can be kind of tricky because I've worked with guys who have achieved a lot of outward success. Guys who have impressive careers and they have these enviable accomplishments, yet 
when you look a bit closer, you realize that they're on autopilot. It's often their success that's caused them to become too comfortable. And that traps them in their comfort zone. It traps them and they don't even realize it. And look, this might sound like you. Ask yourself, when was the last time that you really did something that was uncomfortable? When was the last time you risked humiliation? When was the last time you tried something you sucked at? The funny thing is, for a lot of guys, the answer is her. The answer is the, the woman that who went cold. By pursuing her, that's actually the first struggle that you've had to face. That's the first thing that's pushed you out of your comfort zone, that's pushed you out of this sort of cocoon of comfort. And even though the experience is unpleasant, and believe me, I've been there, I know all about it, you wind up fixating on this girl because she suddenly gave you purpose, or at least what you interpreted or what feels like purpose. And that's exactly the problem. A woman cannot be your purpose. Once she becomes your purpose, she's no longer gonna find you attractive. If there's nothing else you remember from this video, remember that. The fastest way to lose a woman is by making her so important that she's the only pursuit that you're willing to step out your comfort zone for. Thankfully, there's an easy fix to that problem. You need to go out and find other meaningful pursuits that push you outside of your comfort zone. And you gotta do it during this period of no contact. For some guys, this takes the form of becoming a gym bro. You've probably seen the memes, they're hilarious, and they're hilarious for a reason. The reason being that they're true. Gym bros, they're kinda onto something here. Working out does push most men outside of their comfort zone. It does challenge them in a way that finally provides them a sense of purpose, and a sense of purpose that isn't chasing a woman. But while the gym is the answer for some guys, it's not the answer for all guys. The only thing that every guy needs to do is a, every guy needs to get outside of his comfort zone. Every guy needs to send, find that sense of purpose, that sense of fulfillment. And what that thing is for you, you need to figure that out. But once you do, you need to attack it like a rabid dog. And look, if you're still not sure what that thing is, let me help you out. If it's something that you've wanted to do, or better yet, something that you know that you should do, but you haven't started it yet, or you haven't pursued it seriously because you're afraid you're gonna suck at it, that's the thing you need to do. And you need to do it during this period of no contact. Look, you need to do this for yourself, but you also need to do it for her. The more you immerse yourself in whatever you decide to do, the more you embrace absolutely sucking at something, and the more awkward, embarrassed, and or downright uncomfortable you feel, the better chance you're gonna have at reattracting her once you come out of that period of no contact. Of course, you could always choose not to take this advice. No one's forcing you to use this period of no contact to address the root cause of your unattractive behavior. It's completely up to you. But if you don't use this time productively, mark my words, you're a ticking time bomb of failure waiting to blow up. And even if you have managed to initially get your foot in the door, you're inevitably going to lose her yet again. And even worse, you're gonna keep losing every quality woman like her until you fix the underlining cause of your unattractive behavior. Now look, hopefully I made my case here. And if you found this video useful, please hit like and please subscribe. It really helps the channel and it also keeps me motivated to continue to put out more free content like this video. And also too, I wanna hear your thoughts and I wanna hear your experiences. So do me a favor and leave a comment below and I'm gonna make sure to respond to each one personally. Thanks so much for watching.